Right now, we're talking with Democratic Representative of California's 21st Congressional District, Jim Costa, live from Washington, D.C. Congressman Costa, thanks a lot for joining us today on Great Day. Well, thank you. It's always great to be on Great Day. Thank you. So I, I got to talk to you about the uh, the deadline, September 30th, uh, to avoid a partial government shutdown, the fourth in a decade. What are the major hurdles and how does a deal get done? Well, uh, first of all, it's irresponsible to shut down government. In the years I've been here, I've never voted to shut down government. And my friend Leon Panetta likes to say that you either govern by leadership or you govern by crisis. And what you're seeing happen right now in Congress is governing by crisis, which is not good for this country. Uh, clearly, what we've done in the past when we've had to uh, continue the funding of government beyond uh, our budget deadline, which is September 31st, as you noted, we reach a bipartisan agreement by camera with the Senate and the House to continue to fund government for a period of time, whether it's 30 days or 60 days, and we continue to fund government at the current level as we negotiate our uh, differences on the 12 budget bills. That's what we should be doing. But uh, clearly the uh, uh, Republican conference is being held hostage by a group of uh, extreme members that Speaker McCarthy is how obviously having great difficulty with and whether or not they can agree to pass something. Uh, certainly what they put together this week would be dead on arrival in the United States Senate and uh, I could well see a case where the Senate agrees on a bipartisan basis to a continuing resolution to fund government for a period of time, sends it to the House and ultimately that's what we would vote on uh, and hopefully we do it before October 1 because if we don't we will have a government shutdown. Yeah. Something that you are involved in that is uh, moving forward, the investigation into that illegal uh, medical lab in Reedley, uh, something you said in part was it was your hope that uh, you work in a bipartisan, coordinated manner to fully understand the scope of the lab and then prevent future labs like this uh, from operating in our communities. Can you give us a, an update on the investigation and the federal agencies that are involved? Correct, um, and when the city of Reedley in my district notified us in, in late March of this year, we immediately uh, got involved the uh, Center for Disease Control, the Federal Drug Administration, and later the FBI to investigate this uh, lab, uh, private lab that we believe was operating illegally. Speaker McCarthy and I sent a letter uh, to ask whether or not they had filed for the payroll protection program legally. Uh, some hundred and fifty thousand dollars that they uh, received. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we're looking at the nexus as to really what was the purpose of this lab. Did it really go beyond, and my fear, uh, developing testing kits for COVID or, or for other purposes? Clearly, there uh, is an investigation and there is a subpoena effort with a uh, House uh, committee, and we are cooperating with them. I think that's uh, par part of our proper oversight to ensure that that private labs like this have to meet the same scrutiny as any other uh, lab in America, especially when they're high, uh, handling highly contagious diseases uh, that could have devastating effects. Congressman Costa, I, I want to ask you about uh, working with our environment and recycling and waste management, something that really does impact an awful lot of families here in our San Joaquin Valley. Even my son and husband went to recycle some water bottles the other day and were shocked at, uh, you know, the money that they got back and the uh, and, and it just seems to change every time they go. You are part of uh, expanding a recycling and waste management systems. Uh, there's four million dollars uh, possibly. Can you tell us uh, how much the Central Valley could see of this? Well, I think that uh, nationwide we need to do a better job of handling our waste streams, whether we're talking about in our water or in our solid waste. Uh, there are benefits that are derived from that, not just with regards to our environment, but uh, energy benefits that we can achieve by doing a better job of recycling the waste. And so we're trying to provide incentives of different kinds. The $4 million you spoke of is one of those kinds of incentives. But we're also looking for tax incentives to use the best management practices 
on controlling our waste, whether it's with our municipalities or whether it's with our private industries. And we want to incentivize uh, people, uh, businesses for doing the right thing. All right, Congressman Costa, thank you very much for joining us today as we connect to Congress here at Fox 26. Thank you. We appreciate your time.